lot of snow here in Wisconsin. Trying to get to play with the truck in the snow, and I tell you what, it really works well. That lower, I mean, it's it's made my snow removal way faster, a lot faster than the snow blower is, I think. So, yeah, it's every well worth every cent for sure. For my driveways and stuff, I did this year and stuff. Finally got this snow, so you can do something with it and everything. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that the uh, blade on this tractor, that's a seven foot blade. And really, for this size of tractor, I think a six foot, you know, is, would be plenty because it'll cover the back good even if you have it, uh, you know, uh, tilted a little bit. You, know, you can see here how far the pass that goes past the width of the tractor. So, but this one is one we had already. It's a old one that came off the old Ford tractor and the Ford is it's it's substantially wider than this thing it's probably it could even be six foot so just saying uh, six foot is probably all you need for this but at the same time it's actually really nice to have something that's even wider the way this trail is and everything out here so yeah just thought I'd make this video come out to the farm today and uh, get to playing some snow finally and it's not too much where it's a big chore either but you can have some fun with my new tractor anyways really been nice to have this this year for snow removal and everything because uh pretty anxious to see how it worked out and it's worked out very well so it's it's been fun well worth the money to get one of these for sure for stuff like this those diesel engines start right up i do have a block heater for it and uh i have left it plugged in all night you know, and it just barely got the temperature of the water in the radiator up just a little bit. But I mean, hardly anything. Um, that really helps it start good, too, I'm sure. I haven't actually tried to start it without it, I guess, so far with the colder temps here. Uh, well, maybe one of these days I'll get around to that. If we have a cold day or something, or just 20 degrees, whatever, might just see how it starts that way. I think it's going to pop right off either way, but I really do think it's going to start better with that block heater and stuff so and then also those glow plugs you know they really help to start it too so but yeah just thought I'd do this video to show you got to finally play in the snow with my tractor anyways so alrighty one other thing I just wanted to mention too was uh, when I wear ear protection for this thing I you know I always have ear plugs or something when I'm brush hogging or whatever but uh, really for this tractor the engine isn't so bad even at full throttle or whatever it's the hydrostatic transmission on this thing it's probably because it's brand new too i guess this it really it really whines it's actually i've got let's see it says 96.6 hours on it and i think it it has toned down a little bit probably just needs to get used some more it's probably always going to be noisy they're always noisy but uh i've talked to a couple guys that have had tractors a long time and you can't really hear them and he said they they just get to where they quiet down. Of course, they're starting to get worn out too. Of course, but uh, that's <laughs> a lot of times. That's that's pretty much the main reason I need earplugs just to drive this thing. That whining just it drives me crazy. And I have sensitive ears, anyways. So, but just thought I'd mention that too. That if you don't, you might want to consider it just because of the transmission more more than anything. It was bald eagle. Sure, a lot of them this time of year. Huh.